Hi guys, uh, we're going to talk about a copywriter that is very interesting. Uh, actually, it's not just a copywriter, it's a couple. So it's Ralph Ginsburg and Shoshana Ginsburg. They were uh, married and uh, Ralph Ginsburg was perhaps the more newsworthy of the two. His, um, his name and face was plastered everywhere. And uh, Shoshana was perhaps more of the background person writing copy as well and supporting uh, the entire uh, business. It is hard for us to know perfectly who was writing what and how much copy was written by one or the other. Um, we just know that they both worked in conjunction with each other. So um, one of the things that I learned from uh, Ralph Ginsburg um, is the design of his ads. How, hu how huge the headlines are. Yeah, the headlines are just humongous. And they, by doing that, they attract attention. And then the body copy, the bullets that you can see there, they're, they're very, very small, written very, very small. So it's just kind of an extreme, right? That you have extremely big type for the headline to attract people towards the article. And then you have tiny, tiny uh, copy in the body of, of the ad. And then you have, I have another example here where it just says wanted, yeah? So tiny, uh, not tiny, well, yeah, well, yes, tiny font here in the body copy, then huge headline, just one word. He did that very much. They did that very much, just one word headlines, yeah? So in this particular case, uh, this wanted headline, uh, Ralph Ginsburg had a, an erotic magazine. Now, I'm not sure if it, if it was pornographic or if it was just printed, you know, stories, erotic stories and um, articles talking about sexuality. And I guess this was maybe in the 50s or 60s when, when things were still very conservative in the U.S. And he was taken to court and given a five-year sentence for... Um, I think, yeah, for uh, indecency, right? Indecent um, uh, magazines, basically. And he fought that and won in the Supreme Court. So he was a, a militant uh, free speech activist, yeah? Putting his freedom on the line um, for free speech. So very important guy. He owned several magazines um the eros magazine or eros magazine that was the erotica magazine uh this particular ad is for a magazine called avant-garde and then he had another magazine called money's worth that was a magazine for the average joe for you know for saving money and making money being a, a middle class person, yeah? If you were a, a fat cat and had a lot of money, you could buy the Wall Street Journal. But if you were a little guy and wanted to make money, money's worth was what you read back then in New York City, especially. So very important, very interesting person. And um, there was another very influential, influential copywriter, Mel Martin. And he claims that he learned a lot from Ralph Ginsburg. Yeah. And uh, look at the headlines. So the other one, the other headline was wanted. So very uh, curiosity provoking headline. And here, Gerald Ford, who was a president, has attacked the publisher of Money's Worth. So um, he was, I guess, attacked not only by the government for 
his indecent publications, but also it seems like um, the president, or I don't know if he was the candidate back then in this in this uh, particular uh, year, uh, also attacked him. Yeah. So and then you have a bunch of bullets here. The bullets are a condensed paragraph of copy, and um, some people call them fascinations, and we usually call them just bullets in copywriting. So very, the bullets are fantastic. Maybe I can read a couple of bullets. Sorry, I have to blow this up a little bit. So let me read this first bullet here. The government has proven itself completely impotent in the fight against inflation. My only salvation comes from the advice I find in money's worth. It saves me each year as much as I lose through inflation, says Teresa Rumsayer, San Francisco. So it's a, a, a testimonial. Yeah. So I guess he put here several. All of these bullets seem to be testimonials all the way down here. Very interesting. OK. Oh, OK. They're all testimonials. So he has just filled this ad with testimonials. That's amazing. I didn't realize that. Um, so testimonials are super important. And he just packed this entire ad full of testimonials. How interesting. Well, this is something that, you know, should be done again. Yeah, maybe um, I ha I've never seen anybody do this um, before today. Uh, very, very interesting, probably very powerful. Uh, when when somebody sees this, you know, they uh, they really wow, very impactful. Yeah. So now here on the left, he has a bunch of article names. So he calls it here. Get an eyeful of the fire eating, sophisticated, wallet fattening articles money's worth print. Let's read just a couple. First one, the fine art of ab avoiding income tax. Oh, who doesn't want that? Yeah. Next, how to collect social security at any age. Very interesting. Next, where to get 12 and a half percent interest on your savings. Very cool. Next, how to fight a traffic ticket. So these are uh, like I have only read four and I can't find one of these that I wouldn't want to read. Yeah, w uh, these, these are all super useful uh, things. So by giving us all these titles of all these articles, he's proving the worth of his magazine. Very interesting. Uh, so Ralph Ginsberg uh, and Shoshana Ginsberg, star copywriters. So guys, I have a free book uh, that you can download. The link is in the description. Top 10 rules for uh, effective advertising. Uh, it's completely free and it's not long. You can learn a lot. Um, with just, you know, sitting down and, and reading this for 20 minutes and rereading it every month probably would be a good idea. Yeah. And I don't think anybody on the internet is doing this kind of deep, uh, conversation, this kind of deep teaching on, uh, advertising. So if you want to keep learning and making money with advertising, please subscribe. Take care.